this is Suzanne for Rainbow Loom. Today I'll be showing you how to make the holiday bracelet. This is an intermediate level design. To make this bracelet you will need 36 A colored bands, 36 B colored bands, and a C clip. I will be using red and green for this bracelet. It's a good idea to have these supplies ready before you begin, so pause the video here until you're ready to follow along. Now, let's get started. Turn the loom so that the red arrow is pointing away from you. You'll start by placing 13 8 colored bands along the left side of the loom. Grab your 8 colored band and start from the middle pin and place it to the left. Your next band will be placed from that pin going up the left side of the loom and you'll continue placing bands one over the other up this side of the loom. We'll fast forward from here until we reach the end. Now we stop at the second to the last pin and we place this last band into the center pin. Then we go back to the beginning of the loom We start from the middle pin and we place the first B band going out to the right. The next one will be going up the right side of the loom. And just as before, we'll continue placing the bands one over the other until we reach the end of the loom. Stop at the second to the last pin and place the last B band into the center. Now we'll place a cap band on this last pin. Grab an A colored band, two fingers through the band, twist it into a figure eight, turn it back upon itself, and place it on that last pin. Next I'll place a pattern of four bands. Refer to the graphic on your screen. We'll start from this left pin and band 1A will be placed to the center. Band 2B will go from the center out to the right. Band 3A starts from the center, goes out to the left, and band 4B goes from the center out to the right. Notice how we've formed this X shape. I'll do the pattern one more time and then we'll fast forward to the end of the loom. Pause the video here to refer to the graphic on your screen until you reach the end of the loom. Band 1A goes to the center, band 2B out to the right, band 3A out to the left, and band 4B out to the right. Now we're ready to start looping the bands. Turn the loom so that the red arrow is pointing toward you. Refer to the graphic on your screen as you loop the first six bands. We'll start from the center pin and we'll loop the first B band out to the left. Pull the cap band back which is the top two red bands. Reach in and grab your B band. Hold the cap band down with your finger and loop the first B band out to the left. Then we'll loop band 2A. You reach in to that cap band, grab your A band, and pull it out to the right. Next we'll loop 3B. You can reach into the side, 
pull these back, grab band 3B and pull it to the center. Then we'll be looping 4A, reach in, pull the bands above it back, grab it and pull it to the center. 5B will be looped up the left side. You can reach in the side here, swing over, grab that band and pull it forward. Then 6A will be looped on the right side. Reach in, slide over, grab that band and pull it forward. I'll repeat this pattern one more time and then we'll fast forward to the end of the loom. Pause the video here and refer to the graphic on your screen until you reach the end of the loom. We'll loop one, one B, reach into the center, pull all the bands above one B back, grab one B with your hook and pull it to the left. You, two A, you reach into the center, Pull all the bands above 2A back, grab that band with your hook and pull it to the right. Then we loop 3B. Pull all the bands above it back with your hook, grab it and pull it to the center. And then 4A, reach in, pull back, grab that band and pull it to the center. 5B will be looped up the left side, reach in, grab it, and pull it forward. And 6A up the right side, grab that band, and pull it forward. And at the end of the loom, we pull these last bands to the center pin. Now that we've finished looping the bands, we're ready to finish the bracelet. In this last pin, move all the bands up to the top of that pin. Slide your hook down through the channel of that pin and tilt it out to the side. Grab a B colored band, put it on the end of your hook and slide that up through and onto your hook and move that onto the thickest part of your hook. Now you pull the bracelet from your loom with your fingers, lift it up, and kind of rock it off your loom. And then once it's off the loom, you're ready to extend it. Find that cap band and pull that away. Position your loom once again so that the red arrow is facing away from you. If made on one loom, this bracelet will need to be extended to fit a wrist comfortably. To extend the bracelet, you must decide how many additional bands you will need. For smaller wrists, you will need three or four bands. For larger wrists, six or more may be needed.
you place the bands along one side of the loom in a single chain. Till the desired length. And then on this last band, you place your cap band over that pin and the one behind it. Then you loop the bands. And on this last pin, you'll stretch it out to the center. And this creates an area for you to attach your C-clip. You grab your C-clip, the open side there, and snap it over that band. Make sure it's on securely. And then lift your single chain off the loom. Now, on this end, you'll stretch that away. Place your two fingers inside. And again, you create another area to attach the C-clip. Put all these bands to one side of the C-clip and attach that and pull to the other. That securely fastens it on your C-clip. And there you have the finished holiday bracelet.